Thank you very much, Stephen. Well, Team South Africa, who are set to represent the country at the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, was announced earlier today. It's not the final list, as some athletes still have an opportunity to qualify before the 29th of June deadline. Kotso Selo filed this report. With 50 days to go before the 2022 Commonwealth Games get underway in Birmingham, Team South Africa has made history by naming a first-ever squad where the number of women outweigh the men. Amongst other codes, T20 women's cricket has been added to the itinerary at this year's Games, fueling optimism for more medals. It's a very warm, fuzzy feeling, and in my other world, I am the chairperson of the Gender Commission here at SASCO. So it is a, a definitely exciting thing what the Games are trying to achieve. Um, you know, the inclusion of T20 cricket for the first time. And I think we'll also be sending a, a very young uh, crop of ladies out in, in a number of um, the codes, in, in, in hockey, in wheelchair basketball, in the pool, some new exciting names. So, yeah, we're excited about uh, the female component and we, we hope and we wish them all the best. The team has a lovely mix of youth and experience. Olympic and Commonwealth gold medalist Tatiana Schoonmaker who was a bit of an unknown in the previous games, heads to Birmingham as one of the team leaders this time around. It is very exciting. It's weird to think that I'm kind of the senior at the age of 24, like you said. But what is nice is you've also been there before, um, so you know how, they be, how they're feeling and how they... But obviously, I know Peter and them, it looks like they can sort themselves out. They're really good at what they're doing already, so... Um, but yeah, I think just um, bringing the calmness into it and just, yeah, just showing them that you can only give your best and to not put that pressure. I think when you're there for the first time, you have this pressure of the first time on the team. You don't want to disappoint um, where I always believe if you're a happy swimmer, you're a fast swimmer. Track and field has always been looked upon as a safe bet for a healthy tally of medals. And this year, things are no different. What we've been seeing in the couple of years, we know that the, the capabilities are there you know uh, to really say that uh, this is South Africa we, we want to get to the top we've done it a few times where we are at the top I mean if you look at athletics in, 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 in uh, just track and field in, in 2017 they were ranked in, in the top three in the world and uh, Commonwealth Games team South Africa is always ranked at the top so they, they is, I mean Africa all African games were always ranked at the top so we just need to take it a, 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 a notch up to international this year's Commonwealth Games will take place from Thursday the 28th of July to Monday the 8th of August. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I am Khotso Sillo in Johannesburg.